Hey guys, Joe Wanna coming in with another battle replay here on Total War Rome 2. Welcome back to the land of sieges yet again. We do have battle number two here between the Pleb Destroyers and the Rising Kings. As of a couple of days ago, the first replay that I did of the uh, finals here, the TWL, yeah, Total War League Siege Finals that I did, uh, the battle that I did a couple of days ago. This is for Season 2. Uh, Pleb Destroyers were victorious in their defense of Alexandria. This is yet again the settlement of Alexandria. There is the town center. Let's take a look at the army compositions. We will start out on the attackers this side because we actually will we'll, we'll look at the defenders. Uh, defenders we do have is Fight Me Commanding Tylus. We see a little bit. Saw a Celtic Warrior right there. Another Celtic Warrior there. We do see some of his Levy Freeman. He does also have a wall ballista, but it's way back over there facing the other direction. Interesting. I'm wondering maybe he's going to uh, try and fire back down over in this direction when they make their way in. It is possible. Uh, the other defender here we have is JJJ playing as Galatia. We do have, see a, an assortment of uh, the Galatian Legionnaires, some of the Syrian archers, another Syrian archer, a Galatian sword there, some Levy Freeman up on the wall, and I actually did just catch... Yeah, he is firing over here. So if you remember from the first replay that I did, you saw uh, one of the defenders was actually firing over here to knock down this Colosseum, so the attackers won't be able to use that to their advantage. So he is definitely in process of doing that. I don't think it's broken down just yet. No, yeah, he is still firing it. There it goes. Now, it, I believe that is classified as destroyed. Maybe get another shot or two into it just to make sure that it is destroyed. Is he still firing? It says that he's still firing. Let's see what happens here. We do have a wall section getting knocked down, actually. Let's take a look at the attacking forces. We will start off with Miss Cecily being commanded by Pedro Sor, and he has brought five units of the Desert Cohort, five Desert Legionnaires, one Light Infantry, one Slave Infantry, five Heavy Skirmishers, one of those being his general, and he does have a Giant Ballista. And his ally here is Enchida Bandit, and he has playing as Rome, and he has brought seven units of the Armored Legionnaires, four Histadi, two Evocati Cohort, his general is a Bodyguard, and three units of the Syrian Archers. So, all right. Um, the walls are just getting knocked down for now. Big breach is being made. Did he knock this down? I think he did. I mean, it looks it looks destroyed. You can see the uh, everything here looks to be in tatters and everything. So I would assume that is destroyed. Is this still firing? It is still firing. Now, unfortunately, I think that the only reason why it's still firing is because it ha he has it aimed in that direction. So he could easily just have it turn to fire at this tower and then easily turn it back off so he wouldn't be still using his ammunition. I think that is one way that he could do it, but I'm not seeing that it's firing. So I wonder, maybe he's doing the thing where you aim at the wall thing. I don't really know very much about that little tactic or whatever, but... Uh, I do know that that is a thing that you can do. More walls being knocked down. Anybody coming through? Anybody coming through? Histadi coming around. Knocking down. Yeah, they're just knocking down as many walls as they can. Now, this battle is much shorter than the uh, previous battle. So I'm wondering how much of a steamroll this is going to be. Again, this is a tournament finals match. This is match number two between the Rising Kings and the Plebs Destroyers. So, uh... It's going to be interesting. Tylus is falling back. So again, same kind of tactic as last match where they're giving up this front tower. They don't really care very much about this tower, I don't think. I mean, it doesn't really look like they give two craps about that tower, honestly. Uh, we do have some of the Desert Core, Desert Legionnaire mix making their way in here for Misesely. Some Astati now making their way forward. Not sure what are we doing here. Midian Light Infantry look like maybe they're landing this tower. Or they're kind of just scouting out more of the Galatian front line there. But yeah, they are definitely, the attackers are definitely going to capture up this front tower without a doubt. I mean, there's no defender. There's defenders in sight, but there's no defenders close enough to try and fight for it. Which again, like I said, I mean, it makes sense. There's no real need to hold this tower. As long as you can hold these choke point here, this choke point there, and then maybe this choke point here at least to start off. 
but it does look like Glacier is more than game to wanting to try and hold off that uh, choke point there. He's actually falling back a Glacian sword unit to this choke point immediately there. Any shots coming in from the artillery? No. Does not look like he's shot anything. Still has zero kills. Can't tell the actual amount of ammunition that he has, but I'm going to guess he hasn't shot anything yet. So let's get a little bit of a fast forward going here. Galatia is starting to shift some of his legionnaires down over here. Tower is definitely smoking. I don't know if that tower is just kind of... Maybe that tower is being weird. It is just kind of doing like a little two-step dance there. So maybe it is just being weird. Do have some units moving up. Slave infantry getting a little bit closer, a little bit closer. Do look like we're going to have a bit of a charge there. Galatian Sword is going to fall back. He's probably just trying to bait them in. Maybe he doesn't want to use his javelins on such a cheesy... Well, not cheesy, but such a cheap unit. The slave infantry is not... You know, they're not good. They're really not. It's a frontline infantry unit. This is your this is your Pila and Javelin uh, Soaker unit here. Still, oh, there you go. There you go. Using the Slave Infantry as a block to allow his Legionnaires to get some tosses in there. Very nice. Slave Infantry is going to look like they're going to try and fall back. I'm not really sure if they're going to be able to get that far, though. But again, nice. Actually, look at that. Nice little move. He clumped them up onto this side, so he was able to get some more javelins into that uh, that Galatian sword unit. So that was actually a really good little move there by Misesli. Very nicely done. He lost some of the slave infantry, but they definitely did what they were supposed to do. They soaked up a little bit of javelins there in the front, and they actually moved off to the side to allow this legionnaire, this left side of the legionnaire line, to throw their javelins. Or throw their pila, I should say, since they are... Everybody calls them Desert Rome. They have Pila because they're legionnaires. Meh. Whatever. Anyway, moving forward, we still have a decent amount of Rome now making their way in. I mean, it's technically both of them are Rome. Did you land? No. You're still kind of just doing this little two-step thing. I don't know. I think this tower is glitched out. I get this feeling. I get a feeling that that tower is definitely glitched out. Uh, slave infantry over here, unfortunately, now suffering the uh, the ja yeah suffering javelin volleys that they were able to initially withstand, but they have not withstanded it again. Yeah, definitely not, definitely not. Desert legionnaires here, though, they're gonna have a bit of an issue here. Some more javelins coming in from that Galatian sword unit, but hey, look at this. Two more units of legionnaires making their way around over here. Now that is a tribal warrior right there. This is a tribal warrior right there as well. We also did have a unit of archers sitting right here. He may be able to get some shots up and across. Or might not be a bad idea. Again, just use the wall a little bit to your advantage. Just walk up onto the wall, come down a little bit. Maybe come down to about here. And just start getting some shots into these boys once they charge in. Obviously, don't put them up there too early because Rome does have some of his army legionnaires just hanging out right there. But again, it's never a bad idea to just use some archers, get some shots, quick shots, and then run them away quickly. You know, and then he could easily, Tylus could easily just put the tribal warrior right there and try and hold that uh, staircase. But all right, anything going on? Anything going on? Yeah, it's kind of just more unit forming up, unit forming up. Let's get another little bit of a fast forward in here. Again, like I said, this is a bit of a faster, you know, quicker battle replay than the first battle between these two teams. Uh, so guys, just remember, just to remind you, remember, hit that like button, drop a comment down below, share the content around, and of course, continue subscribing to the channel. Looking to get to that 10,000 subscriber goal of the year 2022. Um, getting a little bit closer and closer every day, hitting up to over 7,200 subscribers now. It's really starting to, you know, chug along here, but... Any bit of help you guys can give. The likes definitely help out on videos. Sharing the content around obviously helps out on videos as well. But here we go. Rome is going to start pressing in some of his Sestati. Do have a unit of Desert Legionnaires hanging out here. Going to pop out of their attacking Testudo. And here we go on their way. Charging into some Celtic Warriors are actually falling back. The Celtic Warriors are actually falling away from that combat initially to allow... That's right. The tribal warriors to come in with the hammer. There you go. Celtic Slinger starting to fire. Now look at this. Oh my god. Conversion everywhere. This guy hits this guy. Hits this guy. Hits that guy. That's amazing. 
That is amazing. Celtic Warriors over here. Tribal Warriors. There was another tribal. Oh, is that him here? He is starting to move them up. Okay. We do have Celtic Slingers right here, though. Getting some shots. Firing into the Hastati over here. Doing some damage. Definitely knocking this troop down. Down to 130 men left in the unit. Taking on that Celtic Warrior unit. They were starting to win that combat, but does not seem to be any longer. Now the Tribal Warriors are going to fall back. Wonder where they're going to go. Are they going to try and maybe clip in onto this Desert Legionnaire unit again? Celtic Warriors falling around. I think that's going to happen here. I think they're just going to charge right back in again onto this tribe, onto this uh, Desert Legionnaire unit. But this area right here, I mean, the attackers made it a decent amount into the uh, area here, but Ty Tylus is definitely doing a pretty solid job of uh, holding them up and not letting them really get any much further into where they had already originally gotten to. Back over on this side, we have another unit of Hastati. Looks like they got into a little bit of melee, or maybe they were just dealing with some uh, javelins being thrown towards them. But some more of the Galatian swords making their way down in the crowd. We have another unit of tribal warriors there. Any press coming in this direction? No. It doesn't really... S oh, look at this. Wait a second. Wait, wait. Just hold on, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Tylus has a scorpion and... A oh, maybe that's why he put the ballista all the way over here. Because he brought a ground artillery and forgot that it turned off his wall artillery. So good, good, good job by, by, uh, by Tylus to recognize that at least. He did turn it away. I'm going to assume that it's not going to get any kills on it. So that was really cool. That's cool stuff. That's a good thing to see. Uh, people not just, you know, using uh, two artillery. Because I don't think two artillery is part of the rules. I don't think you're allowed to have two, two artillery on defense. Uh, Mercenary Thracian Peltas moving up. Celtic Slingers here, 65 kills. And they are doing, they are putting a hurting in on this Sestati unit. Celtic Warriors at 36 kills. That Yeah, that Slinger unit is definitely doing the majority of the damage. But let's see how these Legionnaires are doing. We have another, ooh, Desert Cohort now making their way in here. That could start maybe turning this battle. I mean, these Tribal Warriors are still, look at that, 160. This unit here, 127. This is a tough, tough grind right now. Yeah, Desert Cohort going to run away. Desert Cohort, actually, look at that. He fell back. Now he can get a charge in onto that Tribal Warrior unit. Nice move. Again, really nice move there. I guess this is why champion, this is why championship finals, guys. This is this is it. Everybody's making the right moves at the right times. Really, really good players here. Look at the carnage going on here. Amazing. Javelins, peelers, stones. Swords, shields, armor, just everything. Great, 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 great stuff. Ooh, those Syrians are starting to fire now. 39 kills. Getting some shots. I wonder if they're firing. I think they're firing at this cohort. Let's see. Let's see. Wait for a volley here. Come on. Whoa. Whoa. That guy had some serious words right there. You going to start firing? What is that? Ooh, Celtic Slingers coming up onto the wall there. That's sneaky. I like it. They're not firing. It says that they're firing, but they're not. Okay, well, that sucks because I kind of wanted to see where they were shooting at. I think they were shooting at that cohort. But Javelins again. Mercenary Thracian Peltas. 61 kills. Very nicely done. Oh, no. Artillery firing. Yes, he is. But we do have the uh, Noble Horse General there for Galatia coming around. Got to keep an eye on that. It's probably a very tough cavalry unit. We do have one lone unit of Armored Legionnaires there. Looks like another unit of Legionnaires, Armored Legionnaires, I should say, are making their way back. So they're going to try and continue defending the uh, Ballista there for Mesesely. But uh, let's get back inside, see how this push is going. More of the Hestadi unit of Armored Legionnaires now taking on some of the Tribal Warriors over here. Does look like it's not going terribly in the favor of Rome right now, but it is pretty, still pretty close. 148 to 143, so still good back and forth fighting tribal warriors actually gonna fall back is that another unit of tribals now charging in yes it is so he just switched a unit of tribal warriors out but look over here we have some more units wavering desert cohort making their way through uh oh oh i wonder if maybe they should have gone this way mm. oh they are still going forward okay good Desert Legionnaires are continuing to press forward into the settlement here. We're going to try and maybe scare away. What did they kill? What is that? 
can't see what that is. Oh, it's a Celtic Warrior unit. Okay. So the Slingers are going to fall out of the way. And yeah, this Legionnaire. Oh, God. Slingers on the wall. Well placed again. Really nice job with those Celtic Slingers. 29 kills there. Just breaking that unit down. But here we go. Desert, uh, I'm sorry. Armored Legionnaires now making their way in. Going to fight this Tribal Warrior unit. But I fear... Yeah, I think they're going to they're gonna have to... They're going to suffer the same fate that original unit of Desert Legionnaires did. Just stones coming down. Hammering down on them. Let's get back over here. Noble Horse General just kind of hanging around, keeping an eye, keeping an eye. All right, actually, wait a second. Are they? Oh, that was Galatia pressing out into Rome over on that side. Okay. But another wall section coming down here for Rome. Another Hestati unit responsible for knocking that down. We have some more of the Syrian archers that have moved forward. When are they going to start firing into the uh, Roman Syrian archers, I wonder? That is possible. <clears throat> There you go. They are going to get the first shot off. Another unit charging in. Legionnaires. Oh, yeah. Galatian Legionnaires taking on these Roman Hestati. And that is going to be a very tough fight for the Hestati to deal with. Hestati falling back. Oh, no. They're staying in. That's a... Uh, Ivokati now getting in there. Okay, that kind of that kind of yeah, changed the odds a little bit there. Ivokati getting in with the Hastati dealing, helping out with the Galatian Legionnaires. But we have another Galatian Swords coming in. Looks like the Legionnaires are going to fall back. So not a bad idea over there. Let's see how we're doing over here. The attackers are really making some good ground over on this side. But they're going to have a lot of tribal warriors to have to deal with. Oh, artillery shot again. What is he up to? Oh, look at that. What the heck? Where'd that light horse come from? What that dog doing? Uh, 66 kills so far for the Ballista there for Masesli. But he is firing into deeper lines here for the defenders. So maybe he's going to get some really good shots. Here comes another one. Ooh, just, I think he killed one. I think he killed one guy out of that unit. But here comes that Light Horse. Light Horse making their way. Yeah, Legionnaires are going to have to keep switching around to try and block them off. But I don't think they're going to be able to block them off enough. I think that Noble Horse might be able to get in. It is a bit of a rough thing. I wonder how much ammo he still has left. He's probably just still firing it, just trying to get rid of it. But, ooh, that noble horse coming in. No, he stopped. Just watch the, uh, watch the peeler there. Watch the peeler there, noble horse general. Pull away. There you go. Get away, get away, get away. Actually, we have this noble... The light horse is actually swinging around over here towards one of the Syrian archers. I wonder if that's an opportunity. But again, in the center here, the attacker's making okay ground. They're actually doing a pretty good amount of damage to these tribal warriors and the Galician legionnaires. And over on this side, they're really pressing hard. This is a good this is a good fight so far. Some more Galician legionnaires now charging out, going to continue trying to hold back these desert cohort. Second unit of desert cohort. More artillery shots coming in. That definitely made a nice little line right there through this Peltash unit. Yeah, they definitely got a good kill on that one. Good amount of kills. I would say that killed at least six on that, on that uh, drive through there. Rome, unfortunately, the Armored Legionnaires not being able to hold up against this amount of Galician swords. They probably did take a decent amount of damage from the Tribal War unit there as well, though. And there you go. Another Roman unit being just shoved to the side. Tribal Warriors now coming out. Really surrounding this unit of desert, uh, the Desert Cohort there. Really starting to get a good amount of kills on them. Comes the Misesli General running up. Going to throw, maybe throw his javelins. Or is he already do? Oh, 119 kills. Oh, my God. Okay. He's already used his javelins. Gotcha. Good to see this unit over here. 95 with that skirmisher unit. Ze oh, no. He's there. Galatia still had ammo, and he's just going to hammer into this unit of heavy skirmishers right there. Let's wait for another shot. Oh, wait. Whoa, really far over. Is he trying to hit the Legionnaires, maybe? Not really sure where he's firing at. Hopefully he's not. Well, I mean, the general's in the settlement. If he's going to shoot the general, might not be a bad idea. But no, uh, I think he's shooting at the general. I think that's where he's shooting. I can't really be certain, though. What do we have there? Osworn General Fatalis now making their way over towards the front line to continue trying to help hold here against this desert cohort armored legionnaires. Where are the Evocati? Are they in yet? 
There's one evil Cody. Where's the other one? Is it gone already? No. There's it. There they are. Okay, so his two heavy hitters are still well, well, well within the battle. 158 down to one. That unit there with 114. But still, I mean, it's Ivacate. They are pretty gross. But look at this pushback here from the defenders doing a fantastic job. Just shoving the attackers back. I mean, there's still attackers here down to 80. This unit of light infantry down to 134. Currently taking on some Celtic warriors. But a lot less congested here of the attackers, at least on this side. Over here, though, we do still have some more of the Rome and the Desert Cohort there. Armored Legionnaires and Desert Cohort there. But, oh, God. Was that the... Oh, no. The Numidian General. The Mesicilian General has died. Oh, that's going to be a big blow. But look at the balance of power, guys. Still pretty close. It's in the favor of the defenders, but it's still pretty close. Let's make it there. Here we go. Ivarkadi now making their way in. Led in by Hestadi here. Another unit of the Armored Legionnaires on this side, taking on some of the Galatian Legionnaires, being aided by some of the Desert Cohort from Misesli. This is a ba yeah, this is a fight. Short battle or not, or shorter battle or not, this is a fight. Is that a Legionnaire that just joined the fray? Nope, that was a another unit of Galatian swords that just charged in there. Legionnaires are going to pull back out, yep. So let the Galatian swords do some damage now. Back over on this side, though. Yeah, the defenders have definitely cleaned up over on this side, really pressing the attackers back. Armored Legionnaires here now taking on some Galatian Legionnaires. Tribal Warriors, another unit of Galatian swords here as well. Roman Syri uh, Syrian archers coming around. 51 kills for that unit. 92 kills for this unit. But they got to watch. They definitely need to watch. There's still that Celtic light horse out there for Galatia. Definitely need to keep an eye on that. They really start pressing over here. Yeah, we actually have both units of uh, one Evocati and one armored legionnaire taking on some of the Galatian legionnaires. Shifting out another of the Galatian legionnaires coming in. And they continue trying to hold this front line here. They're going to fall back again. Yeah, they're just going to keep falling back. We do have a unit of Legionnaires outside. And oh, no, I think he's... Yeah, the Celtic Light Horse, or regular Light Horse, sorry. Going to make their way in. And they... Oh, wait, no, there's infantry there. There's an armored Legionnaire there. I thought that was a... Where'd the second unit of Syrians go that was over here? Did they break? Did they break? Uh, I could have sworn I saw a second unit coming around this way. I mean, this Syrian Archer unit now just starting to get hammered down. Light Horse can definitely make their way in here. Levy Freeman getting charged. The general bodyguard for Rome having to involve himself. But here we go. This is what the defender was waiting for. Celtic, uh, the regular Light Horse getting into that Syrian Archer unit. They're going to be able to get away for the most part. Armored Legionnaires are going to make their way over here and chase that Light Horse away. But they did get a good amount of kills. Yeah. 37 kills out of that uh, Syrian Archer. I don't think that was all from the Light Horse. But the Noble Horse General has made his return again as well. Let's see how we're doing over on this side. I mean, Rome still is making a pretty good push in. Taking on these Legionnaires and the uh, Galatian Swords along with help with the Hastati. Balance of Power is shifting just a little bit more into the Defenders. Um zone here the defender's favor I should say but here comes that noble horse general I wonder what he's doing where is he going is he going to just try and hammer it maybe he's going to try and come around get into the Numidian skirmishers maybe get into the nope he's going to rear charge coming in over here going to get a rear charge help this help these guys break down this uh, actually no he got it no you yeah you got to charge onto the armored legionnaires he's actually reversed field now starting to charge in onto the heavy skirmishers I missed that charge but here comes the Roman general. He's going to try and make his way over here. Now that's probably going to be... Yeah, unfortunately, the Roman general was already pretty damaged. 
Noblehorst is still full. Just lost his first man, 37 kills. More of the infantry coming around. Armored Legionnaires making their way up. Armored, second unit of Armored Legionnaires coming around. And I think this Roman General is about to lose here. Pretty sure this Roman General is going to lose his life. A lot of noble horse right there, but we do have some javelins coming in. The Roman general is breaking, though. I think he's dead. No, he's not dead yet. Now he's dead. General for Rome has died, but unit of armored legionnaires getting into melee. Very heavy melee cavalry general, though, but they are exhausted. He's going to try and get them out of there being caught. Actually, no, not really being caught. Sorry, being replaced by a unit of Levy Freeman. Going to aid in the general's re uh, retreat from that fight. Another unit of the Galatian Legionnaires coming around, taking on some of the Armored Legionnaires of Rome there. Oh my god, the javelins to the back. Oh, he's getting pinched. Two Legionnaires, Galatian Legionnaires, crushing this Armored Legionnaire in between them. Still have a unit of Syrian archers kind of running around. I mean, the defense... Actually, look at this. The attackers seem to maybe have a little bit of an avenue here to start making their way through. Did he do any 116 kills there? Not bad. Still holding pretty effectively there. Final minute and 10 seconds left, guys. I mean, this is this has been pretty much a close battle the whole time. The attackers definitely have an, a bit of an avenue to start trying to make their way this way towards the town center. I wonder why this Evocati came back. Estadi going to move over here, going to try and help this uh, cohort hold back these two units of tribal warriors. We do have the one lone unit of Scar... Oh, never mind. Shot in the back. Galatian Legionnaires right there. Wonder if the attackers had brought cavalry. Just one unit of cavalry and waited and held it until right here. That might have changed this battle a little, a little bit. It might have. But the final 25 seconds left, aside of the Roman general, obviously. Aside of the Roman general. Uh, but... 20 seconds left in the battle, and it does look like Rising Kings are going to be victorious in this brutal, brutal battle. Brutal battle, guys. This, look at this. That's crazy. Crazy amount of bodies right there. Costly enemy victory. What a fight. What a fight. Let's get into the army comps here at the end. Uh, again, the battle was sent in by Pedro Sorp playing. Oh, no, sorry. It was, it was sent in by Rome. It was sent in by Inchita Bandit. Uh, he had 1,818 kills, General 13. Syrians, one of the Syrians with 146, another unit there with 92. Getting into his armored legionnaires, 241, 139, 199, 194, 136. So, I mean, five out of the seven of them did really well. Really well, Evocati, 122, 133. Maybe a little low on the Evocati co cohort kills, unfortunately. Uh, then we have Pedro Sor, 2011 kills. His general, 138. The Ballista, 101, before it got run over. I mean, all of his skirmishes did great. 138, 231, 163, 175, 171. Really well done there. Uh, his cohort, 147, 180, 157. Legionnaires, 100, 103. Some of them doing pretty good. The Light Infantry, almost 100 kills. Getting it onto the defense, we have Fight Me here with Tyler's 2,033 kills. General, unfortunately, not a whole lot. He actually died. It looks like he died. He got hammered pretty good. Uh, his Tribal Warriors, 144, 116, 211, 274. Mercenary Thracian Peltas, 114. Slingers there with 139. His uh, Celtic Warriors not doing very well. I mean, their front line, they, they held for what they needed to do, though. 125, and that Scorpion, 122. Good amount of damage there. And then we have JJJ with Galatia. His general, 54 kills. The Light Horse, uh, 83. Syrian Archers, 115, 124. Getting with his Galatian Legionnaires, 249, 113, 167, 162, 104, 134. So very well done. All of his Galatian Legionnaires doing pretty good. Over 100 kills. The Galatian Swords, 132, 137. Again, a couple of them doing pretty good, 75 kills. And then we have that Levy Freeman there with 35. But all right, guys, that is the end of battle number two. We are all tied up here in the finals. Next battle will be a field battle to determine the winner. This is not how the normal 
uh, or past Rome 2 tournaments that we've seen where it's the field battle to see who attacks or defends or who chooses the settlement or whatever bans or picks first or however past Rome 2 tournaments have uh, dealt with the land battle. Whoever wins this next land battle wins the tournament. Huge implications here. But all right, guys, have a good rest of your day. Remember, also check the links out below. Like, comment, subscribe on the video or like, comment, share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys very much. Have a good rest of your day. Stay safe. And as always, until the next one. Hey guys, I just wanted to take this opportunity to send a special thanks to my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members. Thank you very much for your continued support. I really appreciate it.